God, why? Why, God? You know, sometimes I, I sit here and I pray and I pray to God for help, for compassion, for joy, for happiness, for financial freedom. And sometimes I wonder, does God hear me? In the back of my mind, I do believe God hears me. And I love God for it. But sometimes I look out in the world and I ask, why? Why does these things happen? Why do certain people seem to have a great life? And I pray all the time in my life's in turmoil. Have you ever wondered why? I mean, I consider myself a good person. I try to do the right thing. But when I look out into the world, it's a lot of people not doing the right thing and they're blessed. And sometimes I ask God, why? Why do so many people seem to have money everywhere? And they're so happy. They're financially free. Something I've been praying for for years. I mean, people are just doing well, even in the COVID-19 stage. People are smiling. People are counting their money. And I just don't get it. I mean, my friends are driving around in their new Shelbys. That's something I want to do. And I can't. Or everybody seems to be living in their dream homes. And I just can't get there. I struggle, but I pray for these things. And I believe that I have these things already and they're going to manifest. I believe in all that. But it's just not happening. I'm not sitting in a nice restaurant with my friends. I'm not happy. But I look in the window and this is what I see. Everybody's having fun. What about me? Why? The world has so many beautiful locations I want to see. The world can be so beautiful. But when you're in pain, you can't see this. But I know it's there. I know the world has these places. And for some reason, that promised land, I'm deprived of it. Why? This is all I see. Every day. No beautiful blue mountains, no river, just this. 24 7. And now with COVID 19, I don't even go outside anymore. I can't. That's not the life I want to live. This is not the way I want to live. I want to have a nice, beautiful life. I don't want to be. Sitting here drowning my sorrows in booze or become a drunk or have the police harass you because when you're down and you're feeling miserable, that's when the police come around. Have you ever noticed that? The police thrive on misery. I mean, it is hard out here in these streets. I mean, everybody else is going to parties. They're having fun. They got green hair. They don't wear a shirt. They don't wear a mask. I mean, they are enjoying their lives. And they're blessed. They're happy. They're smiling. They're laughing. They're smoking weed. They're smoking weed. Why? I mean, these thugs are slapping these girls upside the head. They're sagging their pants. They're smoking weed. They got earrings and piercings everywhere. They done called their girlfriend the B word 20 times at the party. They grabbing their crotch. They driving their cars with the 24 inch rims. And I'm sitting here praying for happiness. But when I look out, everybody else seems to have it. And they're doing wrong. That's the key. Why is that? 
And I keep seeing this symbol on everybody's arm and around this person's neck. And I asked them, what is this symbol here? I keep seeing this everywhere. Well, guess what? That symbol means you're an atheist. That's somebody who don't believe in God. And guess what? This one man told me that that's what he is. He don't believe in God. And he's living a great life. I mean, Tyler here, same thing. Living a great life. And also Robert. Robert has a beautiful woman. And he's living life. But he's an atheist also. God, they don't believe in you and they're blessed. I look up sometime wondering why is that? They don't believe in God and they're blessed. Why? And then I turn on the TV, my favorite couple, Will and Jada, find out that they're sleeping with other men and women. But they're rich, they're blessed, they have beautiful kids. They have the American pie. But guess what? They're committing adultery. They're breaking the Ten Commandments. And they are blessed and happy. Our own leader here. Donald Trump says he's not going to pay taxes and he never will. Blessed. The biggest industry in the world is the porn industry. Did you know that? They're a multi-billion dollar industry. And these porn stars here are smiling. They're happy. They're rich. They're in an industry that's worth over a billion dollars. Why is this possible? I went out and I interviewed people at the Social Security office, at the welfare office. They were in line and I just asked Hey, what is this line for? I, you know, I'm not, I don't have welfare. They say, oh, we're coming to get our welfare check. We're coming to sign some more papers. I say, really? And what happens? Oh, we get paid. I say, get paid? I mean, what kind of work do you guys do? They say they don't work. Some of them say they've never worked in their life. And they make more money than me. Then what about Al Capone and all these notorious gangsters of the past and present? They're some of the richest guys you ever want to meet. Why? Let me tell you about my neighbor years ago. Every day I would see his friends. They would stand outside laughing and joking. And I I said, man, why are these people so happy? I'd never see them work. So one day I just happened to walk in their house just to go visit. And guess what I saw? This. Money laying everywhere. They sell drugs. So I instantly got out of there. And I instantly went and prayed, God, why are the wicked and people that don't believe in you have a better life than me? And I pray to you every day. And I love you. But guess what? Somebody pulled me to the side and said, read the book of Psalms if you want to know the answer. And that was a message from God. Read the book of Psalms. This is eight dog eight. I haven't given up yet. I'm still praying for that golden ticket. I hope you are too. Bye-bye.